What is up guys, this is Drake from Reddit Viper bringing you the next War Attack highlight video, this time from our last CWL match, versus Velar Morgulis. As you can see, we came away with the victory 83-81. to 81. Um, It was a 4-11 breakdown. Uh, <clears throat> they left one of our Town Hall 11s open one-starred Superman. So shout out to Superman for his base building. He defended four times, including an 11v11 attempt, so super base OP. Um, I think we were able to clear their 11s in nine hits, so four for nine's pretty good. Um, the difference in this war was that we went perfect on dips, and I think they had four dip fails. Um, so, they did kill us on 10v10, but because of the dip fails, we were able to come away with the victory. First attack we'll look at is Jelly, which is TT on their number 3. It's a fresh hit 10v11. So good job to him on that. And he's coming in here with a stoned gobo. While breaking in a golem and bowlers at 730 to get the sea sealer. Which is unfortunately a baby drag witch combo. So he can't just calmly kill it with a baby dragon. But as you will see, that's exactly what he does. So he pulls it away to 7 o'clock with some archers and he places a poison and the baby drag. <clears throat> um, good job on getting the baby drag to target the enemy baby drag first or it might not have worked. So he comes in with the second part of his funnel at 130 golem and bowlers while breaking them in and as you can see a nice funnel has been created <clears throat> and he will come in now from the northwest side with a double jump and another golem and more bowlers and heroes quake on the town hall and raging his kill squad Queen goes on a little detour, but after that she will come back inside. And pops her ability. She locks onto the town hall. Gets it down. It's at 48%. And he just gets the 50%. So great job to TT on that. <coughs> and the next attack will check out is actually their attack on our number eight by big fat coward that is a sick attack so wanted to show it this is a queen walk lalo um, very spread out base by chronos so he starts off his queen at six o'clock has a wizard and a bowler to funnel rages up some wall breakers to break into the compartment locks onto the enemy king which he takes out no problem under rage and second set of wall breakers will get the double layer wall break which gives him access to three expos and the enemy queen and then more wall breakers to break her out of that compartment so great job on the wall breaking work and there is a third rage used on the queen walk and she locks on to the enemy queen which she takes out and there's the cc which is a hound loon 
And that one wizard soloing the cannon while well, it's distracted, so great job to him on that. This is a few minions to help with the pups. And places BK down to funnel. The queen will stroll to the mortar and then out to the elixir storage and wizard tower and then the inferno. He has started his lalo from 7 o'clock, hasting them in straight to the first inferno and rages up the core and as you can see the space is totally smashed both heroes are still up and yeah, the rest of this is clean up so great job to Big Fat Coward. He had a 10v10 six pack for them. So unfortunately, that did not help them win the war because of the dip fails. So next we'll check out a few 9v9 nine, triples. First we have Bolado who is kind of new coming in here with <coughs> the suicide hero Laloon so starts off with a couple archers for some free buildings and gets a CC Lear with a balloon pulls them to 8 o'clock Then he puts down his heroes, poisons the CC. The queen will take care of the baby drag. <coughs> and pick up an air defense. Wizard Tower, Tesla. Which creates some nice pathing for his Lalo, which he will start from the north. So haste his first sets of loons into the first air defense and they will make their way to the core, taking out both expos. <clears throat> I don't think he gets the queen kill here. I'm not sure why. Oh, she jumps the wall. But as you can see, this base is completely wrecked. And the balloons will get the queen kill eventually. <coughs> so, great job to Bolado. He had a six pack in his first CWL war. Next we'll check out 19, Nicolazar, coming in with a fresh hit, stoned Bolalo on their number 19, Knuckles. He okay, starts off with two golems and some wizards behind, and third golem at 10.30 and he is going to use this little crevice in the base to enter as you can see he has created a nice funnel drops his king and bowlers and they will make their way into the base CC is a dragon archer combo which you don't see too much So the kill squad is making their way into the core. 
has a double jump for them and a heal as you can see this base is already looks completely wrecked he's got a hound and 13 loons in the bag which he drops and nice loons on the mini tesla farm hasting his way into the first air defense probably would have just swagged the haste see if we could get the hound to pop but he uses it still has got five bet five loons in the bag and queen ability and the last archer tower goes down and it's a little balloon parade from the north great job to Nicolazar. he also had a six pack next we'll check out number 20 bomberman coming in with a shattered Goho, I think, yes. So he starts off with a wizard to funnel some trash and two golems at two o'clock and a baby dragon whiz to funnel some more. Jumps straight into the base and comes in with his heroes. And they lock onto the enemy AQ. Wow, oh, this baby dragon is still alive. The CC is a baby drag and archers. So, Queen will get through that no problem. This hero baby dragon is still alive. Finally dies. Starts his hogs at 12 o'clock with a giant tank. He's got three heals for the rest of the space. Sends his CC hogs from 10 o'clock. There's a Tesla farm there, so he heals over that. And they will just make their way through the space. Gets second expo. And has one heal in the bag, which she drops. And poisons the skellies. And then the last Tesla goes down. And it's just clean up from here. So great job to Bomberman on this fresh hit. The last attack we'll be checking out is Tinkerbell with a fresh CB Lalo. And as you can see, this base has a grounded expo, which I think can be useful around the exposed queen. So it comes in with a golem heroes and some funneling wizards. The golem's already dead, but his BK takes out enemy AQ and his queen jumps into the base, which is always nice to see. So he's gotten one air defense expo wizard tower. Good value on his kill squad. Starts his Lalo at 130. He's got three hounds hasting them through the second to last air defense. Nice little Tesla farm at nine, which he also hastes through. None of his hounds have popped yet, which is a little concerning. But his queen's still alive. 
I just got minions for cleanup. I don't know if any of these hounds are gonna pop. Maybe one. There's one. The queen is still alive somehow. And the last defense goes down. And it is just clean up from here. It's got a few minions and pups on the northwest side. <coughs> Great job to Tinkerbell. He had a fresh six pack this war, I believe. And that'll take us to the end of our recap. Shout out to Velar Morgulis for a nice end of the season.